Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the math portion of the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 146 or rather page 153. Page 153. The one dealing with the garden, the, the little picture there. And today is our lesson number 46. Let's take a look at it. Now before I actually do this problem, the problem that you see there on page number 153, let me do a similar problem a similar problem that appeared in the old, one of the previous exams, in the old, uh, one of the old exams. Uh, it appeared on page page 140 of the 10th edition. If you just type in, oh, never mind what I'm about to say. This book right here is, is what I'm saying here. Practicing to take the GRE practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. This book contains seven exams based on the old GRE and there are some questions that they have taken out of this book and repeated in your book and there are some questions which are very similar to the ones that you find in this book. So I want to do one one question that appeared on page number 140 of the 10th edition and the question that I'm about to do will qualify as an easy question. 62% of the people 62% of people had no trouble with it. The problem that you see in front of you in your book on page 153 is considered a medium question. And then tomorrow I'm going to do the similar problem, similar problem, similar concept, a question that will be considered as a hard question so that you get the three flavors of easy, medium and hard. So the one I'm about to do is the easy question. Now what is the definition of an easy question or a medium question and a hard question on the GRE? A hard question on the GRE is not hard, it's not considered hard because it involves some complicated uh, concepts in mathematics. Uh, the word that I was going to use is esoteric was the word that came to my mind. Let's see if I actually covered it in our vocabulary lessons. I'm going to digress here for one second. Esoteric, which means hard to understand, difficult to understand, something that is mystifying, something, something that is understood by very few people. Esoteric is the word. And strangely enough, it is not covered in, in my vocabulary videos. In case you're wondering what I'm babbling about right now, in addition to the video that you're watching, I've also put together some vocabulary videos. Just type in Keshwani Prep dash Keshwani Prep and then vocabulary day one or day two, whatever, and you will find those videos on the YouTube also. I'm looking at my list of uh, words starting with E here, and it doesn't look like we covered the word esoteric. I'm going to make a note to myself to do it in the future. So esoteric means hard to understand, something that is mystifying, something that is very difficult to grasp. What I was trying to make, explain to you is that hard question on the GRE is not hard. Hard questions on the GRE are not considered hard because they involve some sort of esoteric concepts. They are hard only because there is something in it, some twist in it, that throws off people either because they are not paying attention or what, for whatever reason. And as a result, majority of the people end up missing it. Easy question means the vast majority of the people get it right. Medium question means about half the people get it right, half the people get it wrong. Hard questions means more than half the people, the vast majority of them, get it wrong. The one about what we are about to do, 62% of the people got it right. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. So we have a We have a rod. We are given a rectangular rug. And we are told that it has one foot border all around. One foot border all around. We are also told that this is nine feet. Let's, let's The 
let's christen these vertices. Christen simply means to name something. Christen literally means to baptize somebody. Metaphorically, it just means to give somebody or something a name. Let's christen these vertices. What is this thing called in the language of mathematics? It's called a vertex. A vertex is a very fancy way of saying a corner of a picture. And the plural of vertex is vertices. Why do I need to bring why do I bring this thing to your attention? Is because if you do not understand the terminology, then even though you may be you may be able to solve the problem, if you don't know what what the hell vertices are, then you, it might be a problem. The word I'm looking for is Christian. Let's see what David covered it. I know I know we did learn it many a times. I have gone over it. Sixty-three. Just type in vocabulary, just type in vocabulary instead of revised GRE, math, just type in vocabulary, day 63, and you will find it. So now that we have these names here, for them we can talk about them. So we are told that B to C is 9 feet, we are told that. We are also told that A to B is 6 feet. The question simply is, what is the area of the rug? What is the area? What is the area of the rug? What I want you to do is pause the video at this point. Pause the video right now. Solve the problem yourself. And once you have the answer, you can, you can resume the video. As I told you before, this is not considered a hard question. This is not considered a medium question. This is an easy question. So I'm going to stop talking for about 10 seconds. All right, if from here to here is six feet, and we are told that it has a border of one foot, it has a border of one foot, this is one foot, and this is one foot. If this is from here to here is one foot, this is here to here is one foot, this means this is four feet from here to here. Similarly, from B to C is nine feet, and we are told that it has a border of one foot here, and a one foot there, so if you take away one foot from this one foot and this one foot from nine feet, we are left with seven feet. So that's it. It has a it has an area. Area of the rug is four feet by seven feet. Twenty eight twenty eight square feet was the answer. Now let's do the problem that is in front of you, which is on page number one hundred and fifty three. Very similar question, but as I said, this is considered a medium question. It says picture rubber represents a rectangular garden. So instead of a rug, we have a, we have a garden. Big deal. We have a rectangular garden with a walkway all around it. The garden is 18 feet by 12 feet. This is where you have to pay attention. So now it is not it is not the outside part. We are not given the area. We are not given the We are not given the dimensions of the outside part, we are given the dimensions of the garden, which is 18 feet by 12 feet. 18 feet by 12 feet. Let's, let's christen these points P, Q, R, S. So P, Q, R, S is our garden, P, Q, R, S, and it has a walkway apparently around it. A walkway, a walkway is uniformly three feet wide all the way around. Okay. A walkway is. It has a three. Not three foot. But three feet. I'm not sure if it's going to be three foot or three feet. Anyway, it has a three feet uh, border around it. And what is the question asking? What's the area of the walkway? So here we're not interested in finding out the area of the garden or the area of the entire thing. They're asking us what's the area of the walkway. So pay attention, okay? We are looking for, we are interested in the area of the walkway. Very simple, very straightforward. What we're going to do is we're going to find area of the walkway. Area of the walkway should equal 
the outside part which is A, B, C, D minus the area of the garden which is P, Q, R, S. That's all. So if you take the outside part, the area of the rectangle A, B, C, D and subtract from it the inside part P, Q, R, S, what we're left with is the area of the garden, uh, or rather area of the walkway. That's it. That's what we need. So, what are the dimensions of A to B? That's what the tricky part is. A to B is how much? We know that from here to here, from here to here is 3 feet. It has a 3 feet wide border. So, since from, from P to Q is 12, so this must be 12 plus this 3 plus the 3 on the top. Which means A to B is a to B is 12 plus 3 plus 3. Similarly, B to C, we told is 18 feet from Q to R. Q to R was 18 feet, so it must be 18 plus 3 and plus 3. Let's be consistent since I wrote over there as 3 on the top. So again, same thing here. 3 feet from here to here. 12 feet from Q to P and 3 feet from here to here. That's it, that's your outside part. So it's going to be, so it is going to be A to B which is 12, 3 plus 12 plus 3 times 3 plus 3 plus 18 plus 3. That's the outside part which is 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 12 is 18, 18 times 24. Leave it like that. Leave it like that. Don't touch, don't deal with the bloody thing. What you have to understand is that in the GRE, the questions are not designed in a manner to ascertain how quick you are with your fingers on the calculator. That is not the purpose of the exam. People have the tendency to reach for the calculator every 30 seconds. I have seen people reach for the calculator just because the calculators are allowed these days. It is no longer becomes a tool for them, it becomes crutches. Leave the calculator, leave the bloody thing alone. When we need it, when there is absolutely no choice, I will tell you myself that pick up the calculator. But that happens very, very rarely. So now let's find the area of the inside. Area of the inside is very easy, it's just 12 by 18. So we take this thing and subtract from it 12 by 18. I need the room, so we need to raise this part. Oh, I should have raised this part because this, this no longer pertains to the question we are doing. So I need the room. Let's, let's go up here. So area of the walkway. Area of the walkway is 18 times 12, 18 times 24 other, minus 18 times 12. Eighteen times twenty-four. Eighteen times twenty-four can be written as two times eighteen times twelve minus eighteen times twelve. So if you have two of something, if you have two of something, this something is twelve by eighteen. If you have two of something, and if you take away one, you're left with one. So 2 times 18 times 12 minus 18 times 12 is just 18 times 12. 18 times 12. Let's continue here. As I said, if there is a need for calculator, I will ask, I will tell you myself. I, again, I need the room, so I need to keep erasing it. Well, we know that 18 times 10, 18 times 10 is 180. 18 times 10. That represents 18 times 10. If I add two more 18s, we are all set. So here is another 18 and here is another 18. Just do it out. Don't lose for the calculator. 8 plus 8 is 16. 6 carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 10, 11. Voila. That's your answer. 216 square feet. That's it. We are done. 216 square feet is the area of the walkway. Voila. I was looking to see in my in the book uh, what, which answer choice it is. A, B, C, or D or E. It turns out that it, it, it doesn't apply here because these are what are known as open-ended questions. 
these are not multiple choice questions, these are the new type of questions that they have introduced which did not exist in the old GRE. There are two types of new math questions that they have introduced. One of them is this one where you have to put in your own answer, it's just open space, you have to put in your own answer, there are no answer choices to pick from. The second type of new questions that they have introduced in the math portion is where there are more than one right answer choices and they tell you check mark all the ones that are correct. Uh, sometimes there are two answer choices that are correct. Sometimes a, a question may have three, four, five answer choices that are correct answer choices. So if they give you seven answer choices, and if it turns out that five of those seven answer choices work, you will not get credit if you only check mark four of them. You must check mark every single correct answer choice. And we have done a few of those already before, and we're going to do a few more in the future. But anyway, that was it. We are done for today. 216 square feet is the area of the walkway. Tomorrow, on day number 47, we'll do the similar question, a question that will, that will be classified as a hard question, and when it was given in the real exam, when it was given, this question about half the people will get it right, about half the people will miss it, this one. The question that we'll do tomorrow, only 36% of the people got it right, uh, close, to, close to 65%, 64% of the people had trouble with it. We'll do it tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye.